Today on Full Show Moto, we are going to be replacing the burner tubes in a Weber S620 grill. This one has six burners. We're going to replace all those with tubes that look kind of like this. Now, all you need is a 3 8 socket, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a uh, small pry tool or a pocket knife would suffice. I'll put that all in the uh, description. We're going to get going on this here right now. One of the other nice things about Weber is they make great grills, they last a long time, but under their warranty or close to it, they'll give you a one-time uh, replacement, a goodwill replacement of the burners themselves, and they'll actually ship them to you. Uh, it's pretty awesome. All you have to do is give them a shout, let them know that you have the grill, you love the grill, and they'll go ahead and send you a full set of the replacement burner tubes, which for the actual Weber ones is a little pricey. There are plenty out there on Amazon or eBay that'll work just fine, but to get the real deal, uh, they are pricey and the nice thing is Weber will set you up. They will not send you the flavorizers, uh, bars, but that's okay. You can pay for those through them or you can get those aftermarket whatever direction you want to go. First thing you're going to want to do is move one side of the front doors. There is a little spring-loaded pin on the side. Just press it down from the top. You're good to go. You can set that right over to the side. It'll allow us to access the two Phillips head screws, one here and one over there. It's going to remove this front face. One screw is right here. Just follow it down to there and straight across to the other side is your second screw. That's going to allow us to take this off to access what we need to get going on the burner tubes. I always give, no matter what type of screw it is, I line the screw up, uh, screwdriver up perfectly. You give it a little tap to loosen it up if there's any rust or anything like that. It'll help you to uh, avoid stripping the screw. Once you get the second screw out here, you're going to want to remove each of the burner knobs. Once those are out, should just lift right up and out of the way. Go ahead and put that right over to the side where you put the other door. Move it right there. There are now two 3 8 socket. It may help to take the grill grates out and flavorizers. Now you can see, it comes straight across and just kind of mounts itself right in there. Maybe just give it a little tap with a wrench or screwdriver. You'll notice both sides are not identical, so you can't put this in wrong. And they do go right into the opposite side right there. Nice and easy. Make sure you do line this up to avoid the oh no and end up with only the faux show. You'll notice these two were the burners that we're having trouble with, and here's why. You'll notice all the holes are about the same size in this. And you get over here, and they're all broken apart from being used. So we'll replace those and that should fix our issue. Same thing when you're putting them back, line it up, stick it in and faux show. Boom, faux show. Now that we've got all six burner tubes back in, we're going to go ahead and put the controls back on very carefully. Lines right up and full show. You'll notice at the end of each burner tube, there's a screw and a little screen and a collar. That will actually allow you to adjust the flame and the air ratio if you want to. Most of them come set up just fine. Now that we've got that back on, 
What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and test it out. I'll put a burner knob back on there. Let's see if we can get this thing fired up. Always test it before you go ahead and put it back together. Faux show. Fires right up. Very nice. Number two screws back on, one on each side here. Got the old socket. It's a quarter turn past finger tight. Oh, baby. What a difference when you go with the real deal Weber stuff. Oh, show. Now that we've got the burner tubes back in, the flavorizer bars on, and the grill back on, time to put this back on, and we're good to go. Once again, real straightforward, two screws hold that in. Oh, show. Now for the final faux show moment. Faux show. Look at those flames. For more faux show moments, hit the like and subscribe button below.